I've taken over as Head of Internal Audit, primarily for the B2B operation at Finalta in London. I've been working in the city for over 30 years. I started broking and then moved into Barclays Investment Bank and then on to various brokerage houses and I've been involved in the FX CFD spread betting industry for the last 15 years. I've always wanted to work in the city ever since I was a young boy. Um, initially I thought I'd be a stockbroker but I sort of fell into the foreign exchange industry by accident more than anything else. It all works the same, it goes up and down and moves around, so it proved very interesting. I've got a degree in law and economics, so although I started off dealing in foreign exchange, it was always sort of going to happen that I moved into the legal sort of compliance side of things. An internal order is basically compliance of compliance, so I've gone full scope. I'm an early bird, so I get up early. I'm normally one of the first into the office or for working from home. I'm normally at my desk by 7 or 7.30. The first thing I do when I get in is just update all my emails and any responses I've got to do from any correspondence overnight. And then I just get down to work. It depends on what I'm doing. Invariably, I am doing some research and a lot of reading um, in, in any audits I'm doing. And then I make notes and do more research and, and start compiling my audit. I'm not here to catch anybody out. Um, that's always a, a common misconception about internal audit. People think it's a bit like internal affairs on television. It's not like that at all. Um, we're here to work with one another and make sure the company's performing to the best of its abilities and that it's performing correctly in accordance with regulatory obligations because if we slip up as a company, then it's all the employees who will suffer as well. So although I don't like finding anything wrong, I'd rather pat people on the back and say everything's working wonderfully. If I can find um, something that is wrong, or if I can find perhaps a solution to do something better, then that is quite satisfying. But um, I get no satisfaction, despite what people may think, of finding anything that's not going correctly. Everyone here is very friendly. I've only been here a month so far, but uh, everyone's very helpful. It's a pleasure to come into work. The office is absolutely lovely. One of the nicest offices I've ever worked in, um, in terms of the aesthetics um, and the facilities provided for staff. Although it's a little bit chilly under my, uh, on my desk with the air conditioning. Otherwise, it's very, uh, very nice to come in. Hobbies, I like to do gardening and DIY. I also like traveling a lot as well. I get the opportunity and I like, it's a cliche, but eating and drinking and socialising as well. That's an interesting question. I, I was asked many years ago, or actually suggested to me many years ago, that that is the final question you should ask somebody in an interview. So 10 years ago I actually posed that question to somebody I was interviewing and I said, tell me something I'll remember about you in three months time. And he said to me, I'm a ninja. And here we are 10 years later and I can still remember that. So something that I've done that's memorable, um, the most memorably pleasing thing I've ever done was for my 40th, which was a few years ago. And I took my girlfriend to the Burj Al Arab Hotel in Dubai, but it is something very ostentatious and I chartered a private helicopter to fly me from the airport and land on the helipad on the top of the Burj Al Arab. It cost an absolute fortune, which I'm sure I'm still paying for, but it was the most awesome thing I've ever done in my life.